Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in a need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions on this ASMR. This is for all ages and it's appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, plop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Hmm. So, you're the next Grim Reaper trainee, aren't you? Hmm. Grail Sutcliffe. Nice to meet you. And what is your name? Hold on. Let me look at the clipboard. Listen, uh... Hmm. No gender. How can I tell if you are a madam or a young gentleman? Oh. So you don't go by either? I forgot it's the modern times, so... I guess I need to accept the new thing. So, what do you want me to call you then, um, dear? Oh, dear's alright. Hmm, it is gender neutral, so let's go with that, dear. Oh yes, I've done this job for quite a long time, so I know what I'm doing here. Plus, as long as you don't have Ronald Knox or William T. Spears, oh, that hunky man. Uh, nonsense! I'm not a homosexual. I'm just a woman that's seeking for a man's love. Uh, pronouns? Um... What are pronouns, dear? Sorry, I'm trying not to sound like, what do those people call, a boomer? What? Oh. Okay. Simple. So, does that mean I'm more of a she-her? Okay. And yours go they-them. Hmm, kind of hard to understand, but, uh, thank you for telling me that. It's going to be quite complicated. Um... I'll do my best, and I do not want to offend you because there's been a few um, new trainees that we've had that undertake a uh, hired. They got extremely triggered. <sighs> this world is so sensitive nowadays. Anyways, let's see. Oh, looks like we have our first uh, death. It appears someone had died from... Hmm. Eating too much... <sighs> Obesity is so evil. Kills anyone for overeating. Not trying to sound rude and all, but, uh, I understand food is fucking delicious, but people still need to learn, like, even eating yourself to death can also lead to death. How gluttonous. Anyway, let's go. Hmm, let's see the name. Okay... His name's Richard. He died at 38. Died by overeating. Um, oh, it was actually a heart attack of too much fat and grease. I see. What do we do? Oh, it's quite simple, really, dear. Right, uh, after writing down, like, what has happened, and yes, you gotta use those Grim Reaper eyes, you can scan, like, what happened. And then... We take our souls. Watch this. Now, I do want to tell you, um, maybe you may have to cover your ears because I will be using this bad boy right here. Oh yes, science is anything possible. Could be a weapon. Mine happens to be a chainsaw. Again, quick warning. Please, um, cover your ears. Here are the flashbacks. Oh yes, we do collect these. We get to see how this person dies in his lifetime. Do you see right there? Oh, looks like he didn't have a good childhood. Hmm. Has an enablers. Oh my, he is gaining quite a lot. Hmm. Short life, but um... Kind of sad though. People always make, you know, bad choices or trying to cope on childhood trauma. 
it's pretty common in my list. So far, there has been like a pandemic that happened and、uh, lots of people died. And there's also people like this that die so soon. Not only that, but、um, on a living rate, of course. Yes, it's quite concerning of this world. So, yep, now that we have the souls,、um, let's move on to the next one. I hope you understand this, do you, dear? Oh, yes, any scythe of choice, any weapon that suits you and lighter for you. It's not like Harry Potter, like, oh, the wand chooses you. You choose the weapon that suits you. Mm hmm. Of course, I know Harry Potter. I am quite a Potter fan ever since it came out. Oof.、Mm. Let me tell you Voldemort.、Mm. Voldemort is. Oof. Oh, yeah, Tom Riddle, too. I know that's Tom Riddle, but、mm. it's just Voldemort. Oh, you like me? Oh, you're just sweet. Ah,、uh, I think you're a sweetheart too, listener. I think I'm starting to like you. <laughs> Pardon? Your parents don't accept you. Oh, my dear. Why would your parents do that? Just because you're a little different. I mean, if I was your mother, I mean, I would try to get used to the new you and what you go as. I guess it's just modern day society and people in different generations just don't understand. That could be it. I may be wrong.、Uh, looks like you need to find out about me, Grell Southcliffe, the beautiful woman. Look, I've been around for a long time. Since the Victorian times. I know, I aged fine like wine. And I'm not so used to this new thing in this modern time, so I'm a little rusty with it because there's so much going on in the 20th century. 21st century, yes, thank you. Um, yeah, there's a lot of technology involved, and now Undertaker is using computers. And we used to do papers, and now I had to use an iPad to link down. How many deaths we have, so. Yes, it's just when it comes to people, too, like pronouns or non binary, I mean, I'm completely fine with it. And if you ever need a place to stay or any support, I am always open. And plus, I don't mind having a little roommate. If your parents are planning to kick your. Huh? Oh, they kicked you out. Oh, dear, that, that, ain't, that ain't gonna happen to me. I mean, do you need a place to stay or do you have any supportive friends to live with you? Oh, you plan to, but they don't have enough room. I see. Well, if you don't mind, I mean, I, I know we just met and we're supposed to be co workers together and you're supposed to be my trainee. What do you say that you live with me? I don't mind having company with you. I mean, I do have a hot, sexy boyfriend named Sebastian, and、um, I don't think he would mind either. And don't mind his adorable little cats. He also runs、um, a cat orphanage for kittens that need homes. You'd like that? <laughs> of course. Again, I'm not going to do anything bad to you. No, it's Bassy. Yes, I call him that, but I know how. I, again. It's okay. I'm still trying to get used to you not calling you, you know, what you normally are, because. Again, I'm just. Hopefully, it's not triggering you in a way. Okay, good. That's my biggest worry because of Undertaker. He has to deal with so many people that must be Grim Reapers. However, they're not suitable for the job. You need to be physical, because it was a.、Uh, An overweight woman that wants to take the job and almost making the company lose business and calling us homophobic. And I find that total bullshit because it's a very physical job. You need to move around a lot. And yeah, but we kind of made it safely. And there's nothing wrong with any sort of gender, so I guess we need to add gender neutral or non binary. 
Oh yes, Undertaker knows, and he's very supportive. Even he's been around for a very long time. Yes, in the Victorian times too. So, of course, he. I think I think he's starting to add that when he found out about you. I hope he wasn't too r- rough on you. Ah, wonderful. He is such a nice man. Anyways, let's see for the next person. Hmm, the name's Allison. She's. Eighty-one. Oh. Oh my. That's so romantic. Oh. Why do I say that? Well, let's get over there and see for yourself. You see it there, dear? Mm Mm-hmm. It appears. Alison, age eighty-one dies of starving and just staying by the grave of a dead husband. Man, what love can do. If me and Sebastian, when we were mortal, if we were ever mortal, that's what I mean, I'd do the same thing if he dies first, so I can join with him. Let me ask you this, listener. Do you have someone in your life? No. How sad. Oh, you used to have a girlfriend. What did she do to you? She don't understand the whole pronouns are non-binary. She thought you were just another lesbian. Hmm. Well, I'm really sorry. Well, she's a bitch anyway. If she treats you badly, she's a bitch. And you do not need to bitch. Yes, I mean it. Mm-mm, girl. I mean, sorry. Oh, thank you so much. But I'm not calling you a girl. That's just how I say it. <laughs> so, I guess it's official. You care to live with me and my boyfriend? We do have an extra room. We don't really use it. Minor Sebastian likes to make it into a a kitty paradise with cat trees and all. You love cats? Wonderful. Maybe you can work with him or work with both of us. We can make a part-time for each. Hmm. I'll let you make that choice, dear. Let's see, how about I'll let you borrow this chainsaw and you can saw and we can see the flashbacks of her life. Go on. You need help. Let me help you, dear. It's going to be loud, remember? Of course, you know, it's a chainsaw. All right, here we go. There they go! Well, this lady lived a very lovely life. Hmm. How beautiful. Sad though, but now she's in a better place with her husband. Well, I see it, of course. (laughs) So, now that you witness, you know, see the eyes of death and knowing what happened, What do you think of the job? Do you like it? Is it suitable? You want to be a Grim Reaper? You do? My, (laughs) you've got some strong testes in you. (laughs) All right. I guess we can fill in the papers for Undertaker. And looks like you get to choose your own scythe and become a Grim Reaper. Maybe the first non-binary Grim Reaper. Oh yes, that is history, dear. Let's make it happen! Well, let's go then. Our shift is almost over. Let's fill in those papers, dear.